Ultimately, I think prevention based on just blood tests or urine tests should be feasible. And I think that would be the best, um, the brightest future for, for, for everyone and for all the patients. This century has seen a real change in the genomics of bladder cancer, thanks to new technology which enables urologists to undertake next-generation sequencing of huge parts of DNA in one go. Participating in the session New Modalities in Diagnosis and Treatment in Oncology, Professor Suzanne Asana explained how the data is providing information on prognosis, recurrence after surgery, sensitivity to chemotherapy, or other ways of treating patients with drugs. This is revolutionizing the treatment for patients with bladder cancer. We are going to look completely different to patients. We used to think in a tumor arises in the bladder or in the breast or in the lungs, so it's called breast cancer or lung cancer or bladder cancer. And with this new technology and the insights that come from the genomics, we will reclassify tumors and thus also patients and um, this will result in a completely different approach to patients. So we will really have individualized uh, treatment. Genetic analysis will be used in the treatment of cancer patients and in particular bladder cancer patients by examining the tumor of a specific patient. You will then be able to select the optimal treatment for one individual patient. So for instance, at this moment we are considering neoadjuvant chemotherapy in all patients. We will no longer do that because we will learn from this genetic analysis that the tumor of the patient will not respond to knee adjuvant chemotherapy. Perhaps you have to give another treatment modality first. And I think you will get a much better selection, but also a much more optimal treatment with much more efficacy. And hopefully, in the end, we will be able to cure patients uh, because that's the major goal, of course. I do hope that we will be able to eventually cure patients who come to the clinic with already demonstrable uh, cancer, bladder cancer, or even metastatic uh, bladder cancer. But I also hope that with high throughput analyses from just taking a, a sample from your blood, that in the near future we will also be able to much more early on detect patients who have maybe already developed quite small tumors and it's much easier to cure those patients. So ultimately, I think prevention based on just blood tests or urine tests should be feasible. And I think that would be the best, um, the brightest future for, for, for everyone and for all the patients. EAU TV is brought to you from the 34th Annual EAU Congress in Barcelona. And if you'd like to watch more things like this, then you can click on these videos here. And you can also subscribe for the very best in medicine, from psychology to urology, from gynaecology to genetics.